Data analyst position is one of those rare positions that doesn't require any computer science degree or any experience. And the demand for data analyst is growing day by day. Every day there are thousands of new positions announced for data analysts and they are looking for people who can analyze data and get insights from the existing data. And the good news is that we can learn it very easily and without spending any money. We can learn it for free. In today's video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step roadmap that if implemented, you will become a data analyst in five months. It will require you four hours of daily study and practice and by the end of five months, you will become a professional data analyst that you will have a professional professional resume, professional portfolio and you will have 10 plus projects at your portfolio. If you are ready for this challenge, let's begin. As you can see on my screen, we have this data analyst roadmap designed for 2024 and it will take you 5 months to complete this roadmap and become a professional data analyst in 2024. This data analyst roadmap is designed for people in different levels like for example if you are a beginner, you are an intermediate level person or you are a person with advanced skills. This roadmap is for you or if you are a person that you want to change your field and come to the data analysis field so if you want to be a data analyst from a different field you can implement this roadmap and can become a professional data analyst at your own pace and for 100 percent free this roadmap does not require any coding programming or computer skills and can be implemented for 100 percent free this roadmap contains all the resources that you need to become a professional data analyst i provided you the links to the tutorials i provided you the links to online materials that you will require in every stage of this roadmap another point is that you need to invest four hours of your everyday life for five months to become a professional data analyst. I am sure it is not easy, but it requires your dedication and commitment to becoming a professional data analyst. In the four hours of everyday commitment, you will need to spend your three hours on the technical skills and one hour on the soft skills. This roadmap basically covers these four tools that you can see. The first one is MS Excel. The second one is Power BI for visualization. The third one is SQL for data analysis and the fourth one is Python for general purpose data analysis. You can do data analysis on that, you can do data visualizations and you can also do automation. So the first skill that we need to learn in this roadmap is MS Excel and in the first week of the roadmap we will learn the Excel fundamentals. In this Excel fundamental series we will learn data entry, formatting, cell referencing, basic functions and formulas and we will also learn organizing and manipulating Excel data. At the end of this week you will need to implement a simple Excel project on yourself to implement everything that you have learned throughout the week. In the resources section of this first week I have provided you two links. The first link is for a video on the awesome data YouTube channel that you can see. We have covered all the basic things of MS Excel in this video. You will need to watch this, you will need to learn all the topics covered there and implement them on yourself. The second link is a link to the W3Schools website where you can learn a ton of things on MS Excel. In the second week of this roadmap, you will learn Excel advanced formulas like VLOOKUP, XLOOKUP, INDEX MATCH, HLOOKUP and others. You will also need to learn data validation, remove duplicates, conditional formatting, basic charts and visualizations and you will also have a task to implement. So once you learn all of the stuff that is mentioned here, you need to implement them and you need to practice along with us. In the soft skills section, you will need to create a LinkedIn profile for you where you will have a professional profile picture and a professional cover photo. In the resources section of this week, I've added links to four videos of the Awesome Data YouTube channel where we have covered a ton of advanced MS Excel functions and other features that you need to learn and implement. The third week is my favorite where it is mentioned that we need to cover pivot table data analysis. So in this week we will need to learn data analysis in MS Excel where we will have a data set and we need to answer some basic questions and get insights from the data set. When we create pivot tables from the existing data set, we will need to learn how to create pivot charts as well and link pivot tables with pivot charts. In the resources section of this week, we have a video of the Awesome Data YouTube channel where we have covered all the topics related to pivot tables and we also have a project on pivot table data analysis. In the second link, I have provided a link to the Trump Excel website where they have covered a lot of topics on pivot table data analysis. 
Once you are done with the first three weeks of MS Excel, then you need to implement a complete data analysis project from scratch to end, where you will have a data set that you need to clean. So you will have to implement your data cleaning skills, then you will need to get insights from that data using pivot tables. After you analyze the data with pivot tables, then you need to create pivot charts and link them with pivot tables. And after that, you need to create an interactive dashboard as well. Once you have the dashboard, you need to add slicers to make the dashboard interactive. And in this week's soft skills, you need to work on your resume. You need to create a professional resume that you can send to recruiters and you can apply for data analyst positions. So I've added this link to a full project in Excel with interactive dashboard with you of the Awesome Data YouTube channel. When you watch this, you need to learn everything implemented there and you need to implement the same thing or a similar project on your own. I've also added another link to a full project tutorial from the Data Tutorials YouTube channel. You can watch that as well and you need to implement a similar project on your own. The third link is for a resume template on Canva platform that you can use for 100% free. You can add your own information there and you can download that in a PDF format for free. It's a very beautiful template that you can use and create your own professional resume. Once we are done with MS Excel data analytics, then we need to move on to the second tool that is Power BI. Power BI can be used for different things, but there are three main purposes to using Power BI. For example, the first one is data cleaning and data manipulation using Power Query. The second thing is data modeling feature of Power BI and the third and the main purpose of Power BI is creating visualizations and dashboards. So in this roadmap, we have covered all of the three features that I mentioned before. In the fifth week of this roadmap and the first week of Power BI, we need to understand the basics of Power BI and its components. We need to learn how to connect and import data into Power BI. And we need to learn simple visualizations and dashboards in Power BI. So in the resources section, I've added two links. The first link is a Power BI tutorial for beginners on the Awesome Data YouTube channel. And the second one is a Power BI full course by Pavan Lalwani. It's a YouTube channel that you can watch and it has a full course on Power BI. Once we cover the basics of Power BI, then we need to move on to the Power BI advanced techniques where we will learn more on Power BI's capabilities. We will learn measures, calculated columns and advanced visualizations. Similarly, in this week, we will learn how to create interactive reports in Power BI and publish them to Power BI service platform. And this week, we also have a project on Power BI where we are creating an interactive dashboard and we are publishing that dashboard to Power BI service platform. In the soft skills section of this week, you need to follow the data professionals on LinkedIn platform. In the previous weeks, we created LinkedIn profile and in this week, we need to follow the data professionals who talk about data management and data analysis. So I've added some links there. You can click on those links, go to LinkedIn and follow these professionals who talk about data analysis. In the resources section, you can see I've added a tutorial link that is step-by-step -step Power BI dashboard tutorial for beginners. This is a video on the Awesome Data YouTube channel. And in the second link, I provided a link to the YouTube video from Simply Learn, where you will have advanced Power BI tutorial. You can watch that and you can learn advanced Power BI techniques. In the seventh week of this roadmap, you will learn Power Query and Power BI, where we clean our data and manipulate our data and after that load it to Power BI. So in this week, you will learn the basics of Power Query, you will learn data cleaning with Power Query, and you will learn Power BI best practices and techniques. In the resources section of this week, I've added a link to a playlist by Pavan Lalwani, who has worked on Power Query and Power BI, and it is a complete playlist that you can watch and learn how to use Power Query techniques in Power BI. In the eighth week of this roadmap, you will need to learn Power BI data analysis expressions or DAX expressions, where you will need to learn basics to advance DAX expression and statements. And you need to learn some advanced topics like measures versus calculated columns and so on. In the resources section, I've added a link to the Microsoft tutorial on Power BI DAX for beginners. And the second link is Power BI Advanced Tutorial on the Learning Training YouTube channel. Once we are done with MS Excel Data Analysis and Power BI, we can now move on to the SQL section. In the SQL section, we will learn how to use SQL to interact with databases and to fetch data, to analyze data, and to do a lot of stuff that we can do in the database. So in the first week of SQL section, we will need to learn SQL basics commands like 
understanding the basics of relational databases and SQL, SQL syntax, select command from where and joins and after that we need to practice querying and fetching data from databases. In the resources section I have added a link to the awesome data YouTube channel videos that is SQL tutorial for beginners part 1 and part 2 and I have also added a link to the W3 schools website where you can go and learn SQL on your own. Make sure to watch these videos and practice along with the videos because we have covered a lot of topics related to SQL. In week number 10 we will learn advanced SQL where we will learn SQL joins like we will learn left join, right join, inner join, outer join and we will have a task for the viewers as well. In the resources section of this one I have added a video to the awesome data YouTube channel where we have covered SQL joins in detail. Then we also have another link to the learn SQL website where you can go and learn joins and SQL. In the 11th week we will continue learning advanced topics in SQL where we have group by statements, having clauses, subqueries, case and when clauses and so on. And in the resources section of this week Again, I've added a link to the YouTube video from the Awesome Data YouTube channel where we have covered these topics in complete details and we have worked on some SQL projects as well. Another link is to the Simply Learn YouTube channel where they have SQL advanced tutorial that you can watch and implement along with it. In week 12, we have a complete step-by-step -step data analysis project in SQL. So in this week we need to work on an end-to-end -end data analysis project using SQL and in the resources section I have added a link to a video from the Awesome Data YouTube channel where we have worked on a complete end-to-end -end data analysis project from the beginning till the end that you can watch and implement along with us. So make sure to watch this video and learn how we can implement data analysis project in SQL. There is another link to the Learn BI Online YouTube channel where they have also worked on a data analyst portfolio project in SQL. Make sure to watch this video as well and work on a similar project by your own. In the week number 13 of this roadmap, we need to work on another project in SQL to learn how we can do data analysis in SQL. So in the resources section of this week, I've added a link to the Awesome Data YouTube channel that you can watch and implement along with us. In this video, we have a different data set, we have different questions, and we have different techniques to answer those questions in SQL. There is another link to the Data Tutorials YouTube channel. They also have a project of data analysis in SQL. You can watch that as well and you can implement along with them. In week 14 of this roadmap, we have the third SQL project. Remember that I've added three data analysis projects in SQL because SQL can be confusing at first for beginners. So we need to work on three different projects to learn how we can do data analysis in SQL. In the resources section, I've added a link to the YouTube video where they have worked on airlines data analysis project. Make sure to watch this and implement along with it. I've added three projects on SQL. As I mentioned before, it is something confusing and it can be used for different purposes. We can use it for data analysis, for data engineering, and for data science. Make sure to learn this deeply and make sure to implement all the projects along with us. So the fourth and final tool that this roadmap is going to cover is Python. Python is a general purpose programming language and it is the best tool for data analysis. So in the week number 15, we will need to learn Python basics where we will need to learn the basic Python programming including variables, data types, getting input from the user and working with strings in Python. In the resources section, I've mentioned a link to the video from the Awesome Data YouTube channel which is a long video of uh, somehow 60 or 50 minutes and you need to watch that where we have covered a lot of topics in Python and we have covered all the basics that you need for data analysis. The second link is to the W3 Schools website. You need to go there and learn Python on yourself. In week number 16, we will continue learning the basics of Python programming language where we will learn mathematical operations in Python. You will learn control structures and you will also learn comparison and logical operators in Python. In the resources section of this week, I've added a link to the Awesome Data YouTube channel's video where we have covered all the basics of Python and this is the part 2 of the previous video. 
and the second link is pointing to learn python online tutorial that you can go there and learn python basics from there in week number 17 we will learn intermediate commands in python where we will learn randomness lists nested lists loops ranges and some basic intermediate python concepts and in the resources section, I've added a link to the Awesome Data YouTube channel's video where we have covered the intermediate commands in Python. I've also added another link to the Free Code Camp YouTube channel's video where you will learn intermediate Python programming concepts. From week number 18, we will learn data analysis using Python. And in this week, we will need to learn NumPy. We will learn working with NumPy arrays, randomness in NumPy arrays, indexing and slicing in numpy arrays masking statistical operations and mathematical operations in numpy in the resources section i've added a link to the awesome data youtube channel's video where we have complete course on numpy that you will learn almost 95 percent of numpy features and commands so make sure to watch that video and implement along with us the second link refers to the numpy documentation that you can go to that documentation and learn everything on your own in week number 19 we will move on to another data analysis library that is very important and we must learn this for data analysis in python that is python for data analysis using pandas library so in this week we will need to learn working with pandas series creating pandas series using dictionary lists or numpy arrays and accessing different elements in Panda series. In the resources section of this week, I've added a link to the Awesome Data YouTube channel's video where we have covered a lot of things on Pandas and we have worked on data analysis using Pandas library. The second link also refers to the Awesome Data's YouTube channel, which is another video and we have covered some more topics on Pandas. Make sure to watch them and implement them along with us. In week number 20, which is the last week of this roadmap, we will continue learning advanced topics of Pandas library and Python. So we will learn working with Pandas data frames, fetching data from Pandas data frame, advanced indexing on Pandas data frames, and Pandas data frame attributes, functions, and sorting. In the resources section of this week, I've added links to the Awesome Data YouTube channel's videos, where we have covered a lot of advanced topics on Pandas library. That's it, that's all that this roadmap covers and if this is implemented step by step, I'm pretty much sure that you will end up being a professional data analyst in 2024. One thing that I need to mention is that on the Awesome Data YouTube channel, we cover all the data analysis, data engineering and data science related topics. So if you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe to the channel, give a like to this video and leave your comments in the comment section. Thanks for watching.